Chef Chi returns back to school as this shocked a lot of Davido's fan. Well, um, you know, you can recall that Chef Chi dropped out of school. Well, we do not know if it's because of Davido, but she dropped out of school. But now she has gone back to school. Now, still on today's video, Regina Daniel shouts at his brother for touching a bomb bomb. Well, before we get into all these interesting topics, if you are new to this channel and you are yet to subscribe, please subscribe and ring on the bell icon to stay updated each time we drop new videos. Now, um, to begin today's video, we'll be looking at the um, trauma going back to school. Now, hold on, guys, please. Okay, trauma goes back to school after dropping us because of David Do. Do you agree with me? Please let me know in the comment section if um, Choma dropped out of school because of David Doe. Choma returns to school. Well, David Doe's baby mama, of course, as she's popularly now called Mama Ifa you know, Mama Ifia Shorts. Choma has surprised many with her decision to return back to school years after dropping out because of the singer. Recall that when Choma started dating David Doe a few years ago, the mother of one stopped school and this got many people talking on social media however a few months after their relationship allegedly it's the rock trauma has decided to go back to school according to the instagram blogger cute jews trauma is currently undergoing distance learning and she's currently serious with her studies cute jews what am i saying cute jews speculated that this may be connected to the backlashes trauma received from many nigerians for dropping out of school because of david do now um, the um blogger or the instagram page is alleging that trauma was forced to go back to school because of the number of messages um she has been getting from her fans that she dropped out of school because of the video this pushed her to go back to school well do you agree with this um, blogger please let us know in the comment section below so um Where are we again? Why do you think Choma actually dropped out of school? If you have a contrary opinion as to the reasons I've speculated, please let me know in the comment section below. And do you think Choma going back to school is going to push her career or not? Please let us know in the comment section below. And um, do you think Davido and Choma are ever going to get back together in yes, call me or in any time at all? Please let me know in the comment section below. Moving on to another segment of today's news. Regina Daniel screamed at her brother for touching her backside while dancing. Is this appropriate for a brother to? Is it appropriate for a brother to touch her, uh, his sister's backside? Please let me know in the comment section below. A video making the rounds on social media shows the moment Regina Daniel screamed at her brothers for touching her backside. In the video, Regina was spotted dancing with her brother when the both of them began to rub her backside. Is this appropriate? I don't know. Regina Daniels quickly moved back and screamed at them for rubbing her bum bum. Why are you people touching my bum bum? Regina Daniels screamed in the video. The pretty mother of one recently celebrated the birthday of her son, Monel Wonko, who clocked one year old some days ago. Regina Daniels and her husband splashed millions of nairas in celebrating the birthday of their son and showering him with loads of gifts. The birthday bash was graced by loads of celebrities. Now, um, back to the initial um, topic. Is it right for someone's brother to touch the sister's bum bum? Because I do not agree with what they did, but I don't know if it's inappropriate. But wait, let us watch the clip and you let me know what you think about it. So please roll the clip. Okay, now that you've seen the video, can you kindly be honest with your comments in the comment section below? I want to hear from you guys and know how you guys feel regarding this post. Now, we're heading over to Ubi Franklin. Well, Ubi Franklin recently um, praised his baby mamas and left out one, which is Sandra. We do not know why he did this, but let us take a look at the post he made for the baby mamas. Okay, um, the first baby mama, he said, hold on, let me load his post. He said, 
not her birthday but i want to appreciate her for the job she has been doing with my son shilo god has shown mercy god has shown me mercy he looked past our sin our guilt our shame and poured your love he looked beyond me mother to my handsome son thank you well this is the first baby mama he went further to um serenade or acknowledge the second baby mama i said um this picture will be three years this weekend as Jaden turns five it's been five years of different level of emotions and love i want to appreciate mommy jay for always holding it down we've made unplanned sacrifices for our son Jaden's first always no one is good and none is bad we live as our memories can can last we live as we pray to god for a good life thank you mommy jay and most especially thank you to Jaden's grandma that is the second one the next baby mama he said mommy z strong woman you they give me wahala and my daughter they give you wahala back thank you so much for holding it down always thank you you don't try may god keep blessing and grant you all your heart desires amen now surprisingly one baby mama was left out sandra was left out and it was rumors days back that um sandra is going to be getting married soon and you can recall that um there was a point in time where Obi franklin said she's not going to get married to any good person in this level she's not going to get married some allegedly stating that now the girl is getting married and after he takes to his instagram page to uh, acknowledge his baby mamas he leaves this girl that is getting that is going to get married out do you think this is um done from the heart or you just think he's going to spite this um, fourth baby mama well let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and um if you were to be in her shoes how would you feel right now please let me know in the comment section below now moving further well this is going to surprise you um now even nelson took to a social media page to say before we go to church let me say this baby girl no slimming tea slash waist trainer is going to give you no tapoli slash snatched body stop letting these companies slash influencers fool you two people a doctor or your mom and one place the gym can give you that body well a lot of persons have been tagging URL to um even nelson's post and can you guys help see the reason why they are tagging URL in this post and what do you make up of um even nelson's post you think she's actually saying the truth regarding these um slimming tea and um pills you guys we are taking let me not put let me not um, specify it let me generalize it we all are taking this pill so please let me know in the comment section below how you feel regarding Yvonne Nelson's pose now um, to conclude today's video there's this video I want you to watch a lady recounts how she was kidnapped well she recounts her whole experience well roll the clip please Bonnie, please can you tell me what happened last night When I, I went to see my godmother, my friend dropped me. And my godmother says I don't I don't know very fully. So I spent time with her. Because where I was is in the same town, in the same place. So I wanted to get this as closer. So I from there I had a taxi fight to chicken public along our the roadway. Then after that Leaving the taxi were busy, so I tried to just use normal car, like just normal taxis, you know. And then I actually deliberated with the taxi guy. The guy said, "He said three two five. I said two thousand naira to admin because not far. I had to squat on my face because of Lagos traffic, so I could get to work on time on Monday. So." Me going to me entering the car. Just like two minutes. I was on nose max. So I sat in front. Then he was I was the only one in the car. I went in like a chattered car. Well I knew the guy pointed a gun at me. And then when he pointed the gun at me, 
die Kreuzer holen. The man, the man, he called out, okay, there's somebody, there's someone here, uh, sorry, okay, we get pressing for here. I don't know, the man said, the man said, he stopped the car while he was pointing the gun at me, and he called that man. So he put it on him, the stash was speaker. I still pointed the gun at me, and he was not driving. The man now said, what's your name? I'll tell you my name, is said, man. And I said, where are you from? I said, man, I'm from a Bible. The man said, hmm, you're lucky you're my sister. If not, I would have killed you today. I was like, thank you, so I got my sister. And I said, where was I there? I said, I went to go and get food. And I just made a shelter with him to take a job and give. What was I doing? I said, I work. Here yeah, at Equate. And I said, check her bag. So I have any money in my bag. I said, I don't have any money. I don't need a few thousand I need like and five hundred because of work tomorrow because I used for the transport to go to the office. I swear. I don't know how God just confused these people and gave the man sympathy for me. He said, close your eyes. They're checking my bag. He said, what's your password of your phone? The the man now asked my password. I told him my password, so I think he typed wrongly. He now copied the code. At first he said he said it's not correct. He copied the code at me. And then after that, he and I said no, 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 that is a mistake. So we should you know try it again. And I read the password. At the end of the day, he opened the phone. He was still saying that I should close my eyes and everything. He said, I should thank my God that I'm his sister. If you know, that he would have killed me. That he would have killed me. The next time, I should not enter cars that are not registered that I don't know. I can't be too careful with Lagos now. Where did they finally drop you? So many Lagos I like. And I'm so grateful to. That bike man that saved me, I swear. It was Sorry, the bike man. And they dropped me. He said, just take your bag, that. He said, take your bag. I will kill you. I'll tell you not to kill you. He told the guy, boy, let her go. Just let her go. Don't bring her here. It's just good. Just fortunately, I saw a bike man coming. I had to now stop the bike man. Bike man asked me what am I doing here. I said she just take me anywhere. That they just run to me. They were not telling me that uh, at this place I am that they kill people and they drop people there. And they rob people that we might just walk here. You don't walk here you know that even himself. What was time was this? What this, time was this? This was like around past. It should be really that nine past nine. Alright. No problem at all. And then he now took me out of body camp and I was able to get a bus to go home. If you don't enter any camp that is not registered, free lift, nothing. Just thank God for everything. Okay. It, Sorry about that. Yo, you, now that you've seen the video, what do you make up of this? And this is not something that is easily going to get past her. I think she needs, a, she needs a therapist right now. What would you suggest for her? And please, you guys should be careful out there. Please let me know in the comment section below as this will mark the end of today's video. Thank you for watching today's video. Stay tuned for another exciting video. If you are yet to subscribe, please subscribe and turn on the bell notification to stay updated each time we drop new videos. Please stay updated. Thanks for watching today's video. Peace.